So today we've got a dupes video. I love doing dupes videos because don't we all just want to save a little bit of money? I mean, really? I mean, really? So yeah, so we're doing a ju -ju 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 dupes video today is what we're doing. By the way, can I just ask you something really quickly? Because it can't just be me. Does anyone else feel extremely socially awkward when eating a banana in public? What do you think? I mean, is it just me? Am I just weird? I mean, I know I'm weird, but I like I like being weird. It's fine. Anyway, okay, so the first dupe that I have is actually something upon my face. And it's a dupe for the MAC uh, lipstick in the shade Myth. Now, this is one of my favourite MAC lipsticks. I actually wear this a lot in my videos. It's a super kind of peachy based nude. Can you see it? Can you see it? Now, the dupe that I found for this was from Makeup Revolution. Don't we all love Makeup Revolution? And this is the Rose Gold Lipstick in the shade Expose. Can you see? They're very, very similar indeed. I'd say, if anything, that the Expose is slightly more matte. And I'd say that Myth is maybe slightly less matte. <laughs> say Myth is maybe a little bit more pink. But really, like, on the lips, can you see? any difference whatsoever i have forgotten which one's which i think no myth is on the bottom and then expose is upon my top lip what do you think what do you think the makeup revolution one is around the three pounds mark the mac one is 15 pounds 50 i mean 15 pounds 50 I mean, really. I mean, really. By the way, someone commented in one of my videos saying, take a shot of vodka every time she says, I mean, really. So I'm just going for it today. I mean, really. And I don't drink, but get yourself drunk. I mean, really, but drink responsibly. Don't, don't be going crazy. Don't be getting to the point where you lose all your shoes, all two of them. Hair is, is, you've dyed it. It's all of a sudden like, purple i mean really i i want to talk i mean really by the way this is meant to be blue but it's purple i've been called the smurf in work that's my new name apparently the smurf watch out the smurf is coming through i mean really okay so sticking with lip products i have a dupe for the jeffree star posh spice uh liquid lipstick I was about to say this is in the shade Posh Spice, but I was like, I'm when you already said that. It's repeating yourself, like you're in Memento or something. So the dupe that I found of Posh Spice was by NYX. It's one of the lip lingeries in the shade Corset. I rediscovered this recently, and it is one of my favourite liquid lipsticks now. I will just do a couple of swatches, and you can actually see what they look like side by side. Like they're some kind of nude, greyish kind of couple lying in bed and they're in the early stages of their relationship so they've not got to the point yet where they hate each other i'm joking no one does that but you know they they really get on well and they're not getting annoyed by you know small things at that point so they're just like a little nudie grazy couple anyway I'm, I'm just gonna swatch them i mean really Okay, so we've got the lip, NYX Lip Lingerie in Corset, and then we've got the Jeffree Star Posh Spice, and I know that you're probably thinking, I'm when Posh Spice looks a bit darker and a bit more brown, but believe me, up on the lips, there is, like, hardly any difference whatsoever, and I definitely say if you're a fan of this shade, or it's kind of drawing you in, it's seducing you, it's making your panties just pop right off, then I would definitely recommend going to try the NYX one. Um, in terms of the formula, I would say I probably prefer the NYX one, believe it or not. I know a lot of people do find that these are quite drying, but then, I mean, I find the Jeffree Star one drying. You present me with a liquid lipstick that isn't drying, and I will say hallelujah you have presented me with a liquid lipstick that isn't drying Ashbox always on liquid lipsticks aren't really that drying but anyway side note that for me is a certified dupe dupette because i don't want to be sexist okay so next we have a highlighter and we have the urban decay afterglow highlight in the shade aura this is actually a product that i regret buying because it was quite expensive i kind of got talked into buying this by the urban decay girl because she was fabulous and on the day i was like oh yes that looks great but now i'm just thinking i never use you and you are probably one of my most expensive highlighters and i never use you i mean really <laughs> The dupe that I found for that one, I cannot open, it is impenetrable at this point in time. Does anyone else struggle with these MUA undress your skin 
creepy named highlighters. I cannot open it. Why are you playing me like this? I've had a hard day at work. I've got home. I just want to film my jute video. And, oh, it's opened. It's fine. Thank you for coming to the party. I mean, we were only just all waiting for you for like hours to open. I mean, really, how rude. But anyway, this is the Undress Your Skin in the shade Pink Shimmer. I'll do a little swatch yet. This is what she looks like. And if I do a swatch of the Urban Decay, can you see there? Can you see? Um, I know, again, you're probably thinking Urban Decay is a li little bit more kind of white based. But you'll see when I swatch through them both. They actually look very, very similar indeed. I forgot which was which. I mean, really, which one was which? How do these... I'm not saying that I'm a beauty guru because I'm definitely not that. I'm just a girl that likes makeup. But how do they be so professional and polished and, like, you know, organised? Like, with everything, they know where everything is. I have no idea which is which. Mm, I don't... Um, which one was which? Right, so that was... Right, so this one... So, which one did I... So, this one is Urban Decay. This one is Undress Your Skin. They've both just got a very kind of pinky kind of highlightery glow to them. Um, the MUA one is £3 and the Urban Decay one is, I think, £24. 24 of your hard-earned pounds. I mean... Excuse me, but no, my boys broke the TV the other day. So, I mean, really, I don't have a TV anymore and I don't have money to be spending £24 on a highlighter that I do not use because apparently I have to save up my money now for a new TV. Obviously, the main thing is the boys weren't hurt, but I've not yet got a kind of definitive story about how the TV got broken. Andres' story just keeps changing. At one point, he's on the sofa. At another point, he's trying to take Alex's milk. And then he's mainly just kind of blaming Alex, really. So I have no idea how the TV broke, but uh, the TV has met a grisly end. Let's just put it that way. I would definitely say if you're a fan of like a pinky highlight, go for the Undress Your Skin in Pink Shimmer, not the Urban Decay. Both of these are like very similar formulas. They're actually quite powdery and quite chunky, not my favourite. So really, I probably wouldn't recommend either to you. Uh, so I mean, really, that's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. She wouldn't recommend either. I mean, what's the point of me even mentioning any then and when? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What, what is my life right now? What am I doing here? What's my purpose in life? Mm. Okay. okay, so the next tube is for the Max, Max, Mac, Mac, I don't know. Mac Fix Plus. It's not really setting spray, it's more just like I see it as like a spray to refresh my face. When my face is feeling a little bit down in the dumps and it's saying, and when I've had makeup on for far too long at this point, if I just spritz a little bit of this up on my face, it just makes my face feel revived and come to life in the same way that I feel when I have like five coffees in a row and I just feel suddenly like oh yes she's awake she's alive she's here and she's ready to party I mean so yeah so the dupe that I found for this is by Makeup Revolution this is the Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray I think that these are just so similar they're just a bit of water mixed with a bit of is it a uh, glycol glycol I don't know but they're mixed with some ingredients and Ultimately, they just make your face feel a bit refreshed. They leave your skin looking like a little bit dewy and glowy. Who doesn't want that? The Fix Plus, this is only like a travel size. I don't know why, like I've just repurchased it and I went for a travel size. I mean, really, who buys a product in a travel size when they're not traveling anywhere? Like I'm not traveling anywhere. And I mean, I need to be saving up my money for a TV. I can't be buying travel sizes that isn't cost effective. I should have just gone all in. Got the big boy, but no, oh, oh, no, 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 she got the travel size. But the full size is like £18, and this is, I think, £7. So, yeah, I definitely recommend you try out the um, Pro Fix by Makeup Revolution. Just one other thing to mention, one of my favourite uses for uh, the, the Fix Plus is to spritz it on my shimmery eyeshadows, and it just makes them pop, 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 like pop. You can see me in space, like NASA, uh, looking down with a satellite saying, what? What is this iridescent turquoise sh thing that looks like eyes? And I'm saying, oh, guys, don't worry. It's just my eyes. They're popping. I use my Fix Plus today. I, I do find that the Pro, uh, Pro Fix works in the same way. So, I mean, really, 
why did I even buy travel size? I should have just saved my money and not bought it and bought this. I mean, again, who am I right now? What's my purpose in life? I mean, what am I even doing here? I sh who knows? Who knows? Okay, anyway. Okay, so next I have an eyebrow pencil. Um, my favourite eyebrow pencil was the Anastasia Brow Definer. Uh, this is in the shade Taupe and it's just essentially like a triangular shaped like waxy kind of pencil with a spoolie at the end and I have found a dupe which is again by Makeup Revolution Black Daddy of dupes, let's face it, Makeup Revolution do duping down to a T I mean they do duping so well that's just what they do and this again they called it the brow definer I mean <laughs> how sassy is that they've just said we don't care, we've obviously copied this product, we're just going to call it the Brow Definer. You know like with the shade and light palette that they copied from Kat Von D, but they kind of switched their shade and light, so instead of, no, Kat Von D's was the shade and light, and they called theirs the light and shade palette, so at least then, they made a little bit of an effort just to like mix it up a bit. Not with this, no, they've just gone straight in and said, do you know what, Brow Definer, we're just going to call it the Brow Definer, so everybody knows we have copied it. I mean, really. So I would definitely say that this is a very good dupe of the ABH. If you want to save yourself a bit of money, I've got the Makeup Revolution on today. I'm getting to the point where I actually prefer the Makeup Revolution one. I think that the shade suits me a lot better. I've got it in the lightest shade, whereas the ABH I have in the shade Taupe, which I do like, but I just feel like my brows are just like a little bit more fleeky, you know. I definitely won't be buying the ABH one again. I'm just going to be buying the Makeup Revolution one. I mean, really, really. Okay, so next we have a foundation and it's uh, like two foundations that I'm not really the biggest fan of, but I know a lot of people like them. Let's have a little sample pot of this, but it's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, Foundation and Concealer. And, uh, right, I'll let you into a little uh, thing here. I don't like this product. I've ranted about it so many times, but I actually do like it for filming because initially when I first put it on, it looks really, really good. It's kind of full coverage. And on camera, this looks really flawless, but it doesn't wear well on my face. So I can wear it on camera and have it on for like half an hour and then get it off. But I can't leave it on like, you know, all day as like a, you know, serious kind of foundation friend. It's more like a foundation enemy, you know, if I leave it on too long. Um, it just doesn't like being on my face apparently. The dupe that I found of that, and it, again, it's a foundation that I really dislike. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I like and I don't like both of these for exactly the same reason. Um, I like them because they look really good initially when I apply them, but neither of them are like my face. They just don't enjoy spending time on my face. They don't see it as like quality time on my face. They see it as like hell on earth like they think right we're on Amway's face let's just start separating like crazy and looking patchy and sinking into her pores i would say after completely slating these two bad boys that if you're a fan of the beyond perfecting foundation i would definitely say check out the infallible total cover because they are very similar they feel similar on the skin heavy and mask like uh, for me <laughs> but they're both really full coverage and they just have that look of flawless skin at first and then it descends into madness on my skin but I know that a lot of people do like both of these so I just wanted to give you that little tip because it's not all about me you know it's about you guys and I want to make sure that I consider your views and feelings and foundation friends okay and the last product that I'm going to mention is one that I think everybody and their manager and chief executive and um midwife if you've had a midwife and head teacher everybody knows about this dupe and it's a dupe for the balms mary luminizer the dupe that i have for this is the gloma cushion by w7 i've got both of these on today so you can see i've got the mary lou on this side and i've got gloma cushion over on this side hanging out so this is mary lou it's a lovely kind of champagne highlight although i'm not the biggest fan i just don't feel like it knocks my socks off you know I actually prefer the Gloma Cushion to the Mary Lou. Oh, wrong way round. I mean, really. Are you trying to are you trying to show me up here, Mary Lou? 
I mean, really. So, yeah, I definitely do feel like um, I prefer the Glom Cushion. I just don't think that it accentuates my uh, kind of texture on my skin as much as the Mary Lou one does. But they're both kind of very um, kind of soft champagne kind of highlights. Glow Cushion can be purchased on Amazon for around the £3 mark, although it does fluctuate a bit. Uh, the Mary Lou is about, I think it's about £15 to £18, depending on where you get it. So I'll just do a little swatch ruse so that you can actually see, because uh, I know everybody loves a bit of swatching. Okay, so we've got Mary Lou here and we've got the Glow Cushion over here. Yeah, where have I got that from? I don't know. Someone says, yeah. Is it with it Cartman in South Park? He used to go, yeah. Or, may, or maybe I've just made that up completely. I don't know. Oh, gosh. I'm running out of swatching situations. I mean, what is my life right now? I mean, really. Okay, so this. Which one was this? Here we have the Gloom Cushion. And then here we have the Mary Lou. I mean, the Mary Lou does kind of catch the light a bit more. And it does look a little bit glowy. But on the face... There is not much difference at all. So I would definitely recommend the Glow Cushion. As I said earlier, this is a very well-known dupe. I've definitely not been the person to find it. Uh, you know, I've not been the great dupe discoverer of, of the Mary Lou dupe. Um, I can't take the credit for that, but it's one that is so good. And I know Mary Lou is such a popular highlighter. I just wanted to kind of repeat, repeat and rewind, repeat and rewind, fast forward sometimes if you want to get to a, the forward but but mostly repeat and rewind do you remember that song by craig david if you're not in the uk you may not have a clue what i'm talking about but it goes re-e-wind when the crowd say bow selector re -e -e -e, and he goes like this re -e 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 -e, and it's anyway it's a classic classic song um okay so that kind of brings us to the end with me singing Rewind. That brings us to the end of the dupes video. I hope that this has been somewhat helpful to you um, in maybe saving a little bit of of dosh or panunas. Panunas? Who? Panunas? Potatoes? Potatoes? Falafels? I don't know. But I hope it helps you in, 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 in some kind of way. I am going to be filming my makeup collection soon. I know a lot of you have asked for it and I believe I really want to do it. So I am going to get down get down and get that done <laughs> i just have to ignore myself sometimes when i start going off on one it's just like i'm going just ignore yourself really i mean really okay so i'm going to go now thank you so much for watching i really really do appreciate it i hope you're having a lovely day whatever it is you're doing and i hope you didn't get too drunk throughout the duration of the video with all the i mean reallys I mean, really, by the way, should I make a t-shirt? And even if, like, I'm not making it, like, thinking, oh, my God, everyone's going to want an I mean, really t-shirt. Um, but I thought, you know, I'm not that obnoxious, but I just thought I would like one because I love slogan t-shirts. So I'm thinking maybe of doing it. And then if anyone else wants to buy one, you can. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be back soon. Bye! Okay, bye guys. What is happening to my voice? Amon, come on now. Come on now. Bye guys.